San Diego is a pretty laid back place, but they are really sticking it to our pal Seth Davis after he tweeted, yup, North Dakota State would pull the tourney upset over the Aztecs. Well, that obviously didn't happen, and it wasn't even really close either. San Diego State a 19-point win over the Bison. The Aztecs now have a date with either top seed Arizona or eight seed Gonzaga in the Sweet 16. Bonnie Bernstein along with David Gascon, our Aztecs insider. All right, Dave, let's talk Xavier Thames. Kind of sluggish out the gate, but wound up finishing the day with 30, his season high in regulation. Why ultimately do you think he was such an impact player? Well, to win a game like this in the NCAA tournament, your best players have to have the basketball. And that's what head coach Steve Fisher did. He gave the ball to Xavier Thames, allowed him to make moves on his own, dribble driving to the lane. He created his own shot. But more importantly, the Bison liked to pack the paint a lot. And so they lived and died with the Aztecs shooting from the outside. Thames was four for nine from downtown. In the end, that doomed him big. And also eight of nine from the free throw line. We all know about the Aztecs stifling defense, but they held the Bison. This is a 50 point shooting team to 30%. And they shut down the Summit Player of the Year and Taylor Braun. How? Just a different dynamic of a presence they have, the Aztecs. They were ranked eighth in the nation in terms of field goal defensive percentage against JJ O'Brien, Josh Davis, the transfer, and Skylar Spencer. Great length down low. They were able to collapse down on Braun, force him to kick the ball out. And the Aztecs living and dying by what they do on their brand of basketball, the defensive side, packing the paint, forcing teams to shoot from the perimeter. And that's what the name of the game in college basketball. Teams like to penetrate. They like to get to the rack, get to the rim, and then get to the free throw line. Bison didn't do any of that this afternoon. Spin forward for us. Aztecs lost by nine to Arizona, but it was the second game of the year. It was back in, I think, late November. More advantageous, do you think, the Cats or Gonzaga as the next opponent and why? You know, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. I'd probably go with Arizona. Arizona in that game, as you mentioned, uh, they forced the Aztecs not to shoot great in that game, 36% from the field and also from downtown. But they also had Brandon Ashley in that game. Now, two different things are going to happen if the Aztecs face Arizona. Ashley is out for the remainder of the season. Dwayne Poley is in for the Aztecs, sixth man of the year in the Mountain West Conference. Those two, two players can be the complete difference in a game that has the premier defenses in all the land. Arizona ranks fifth in the nation, Aztecs eighth in the nation in terms of field goal percentage against. I'd love to face Arizona again just because you have the Aztecs coming into that game with a revenge factor in their mind. Second Sweet 16 for the Aztecs in the last four seasons. They will be close to home. They'll be in Anaheim. Plenty more inside the tourney segments on Campus Insiders and game previews as soon as they get locked in. So you stay locked in right here.